So do I look tanner? Yes. Well, in what way? Um, Hawaii vibe? Thank you. Hawaii vibes. I was going for Guam. Oh, yeah. I was doing a Guam thing, but yeah, Hawaii's good. You know, no, I, I've, I've been out in the sun 12 hours a day on a softball field in Century City. And I'm just like, dude, first of all, you could feel chunks of cartilage in my knees, <laughs> like rattling around like a ping bong, pinball. Why is that? It's loose. Loose. At, see this? This hurts. Ow. From? Just, just playing softball. At, I had to do slides, throws. As soon as I threw one softball, I heard <laughs> on my right shoulder. I think I need surgery. I mean, my point is, is that I'm number one. I've never hit a ball before or catch the ball. That's so hard for me to believe. Never played. I've never even. I didn't even know how to put a fucking mitt on my hand. Yeah, but you're naturally coordinated because you played tennis, table tennis, hockey. Like you, you are naturally a great athlete. That's a lie because if you play tennis, you you can catch a ball. Yeah, but I put three fingers in one of the slots in the glove. You know what I mean? And a oh, pinky on oh, the other one. So you did shocker? Yeah, I did, yeah, shocker. I did, I did shocker to the fucking glove. And, but my point is this. And then, um, but I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say this in the most realist. I'm not making fun of anybody. But so, you know, we would go off the bat, right? And I'm going to tell you this right now. Dumbfounded, Jonathan Park He's good, huh? is a disgrace oh, never mind. to Asians all over the world. He's a disgrace to Koreans specifically. This dude has not hit one ball. And it's not even a, a but, lie. But doesn't he always wear a baseball jersey? He does. He always wears a baseball jersey. jersey. In fact, one of his merch, which I have all the colors of, yeah, yeah. Koreatown, is a baseball, baseball jersey. It's a baseball jersey. He's he must a fraud. Be good. He's a fraud. And I'm going to tell you one thing that happened. So we go out to bat, and we were supposed to hit one of them, right? And he, he had 30 tries. <laughs> and then Lige goes, you know what? Forget it. We're not going to do that. <laughs> You, you, you know what I mean? We're going to change the script where you don't hit anything. <laughs> <laughs> they rewrote that. They had yeah, to rewrite it. And he, I'll th his problem is this. Uh, when the ball comes, he closes his eyes and he tries to swing as hard as he can. Yeah. Because he wants to prove his Korean, you know what I mean, machismo. Yeah. yeah. And he just looks like um, a disgrace. What do you do, Dave? Do you just show bunt? No, I hit, ask any, Lige goes, Hey, dude, you, ha you can't be as good. In reality, I'm probably top four. Wow. So who would you say is the top in terms of like um, softball skill? Who's the number on, in one? In the movie? Yeah. No, no, no. Not no. in the script. Re real life. In real life. Johnny or Theo? I feel like I'm one of those guys. No. I think the number one guy is um, Johnny Knoxville. That makes sense. He, he is a master. Really? He could have got done any sport, that guy. Number two is Gata. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You know Gata? Mm -hmm. From Dave. Great guy. I think Theo, no, Brian Van Holt and then okay. Theo. They're in the top four. Mm. But when it comes to like the um, Chebos and the, you know what I mean, and the blind, you know what I mean? <laughs> Who's the blind? I'm, I, you know what you know, I mean? The, you know, the people that are in the small school bus. The, the others. The others. You know what I mean? The beyond. You know, Bed Bath and Beyond. That's people you. that work in the beyond department. You know what I mean? I don't That's know what that is. Yeah, you know. You know exactly. What if, all, what if the products in that store is considered beyond to you? Like ginger chews? Yeah, I think yeah. that, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's yeah. actually really Ginger chews. Because they have, like, I bought Delson when I had a really bad cough. I bought, like, like cough suppressant from there. That's, that's the beyond. Right? Yeah, that's the beyond. They, they, they have things there that shouldn't be there, like, you know, like relaxation balls, you know, those. That's, uh, that's yeah, beyond. Yeah, yeah, that's like things that are, beyond. things that are, like, no one's going to buy these. Like nunchucks. Yeah, maybe somebody goes in there. <laughs> They don't sell, do they sell nunchucks? I think they do. They have surprised. to. We, we should call somebody from there. 20% off. Um, entire purchase. I have a coupon. Really? They send it to me every week. They text me. Huh. Yeah, I mean, you nail do they have nail polish there? Yes, they do. What? Yeah. What do they else do they have? Do they have um, nails? Mm, you can steal it off an, uh, one of their <laughs> regular things they sell. <laughs> Wait, what about Chelsea? I feel like, didn't she say she played softball growing up? I'm not just imagining that. I'm pretty sure that's what she said. I don't know. Um, she could have, but she um, she's something that you know. It, he's she's one of those women that like God went. I want to spend my time on this one. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I only spend three days on this one. <laughs> how long does he normally spend? Probably because there's so many people. In Gilbert, the... how long? How long did he spend on Gilbert, God? Mm-hmm. And what part of his body do you think he spent the most time on? What part of his body do you, do you feel he spent the least time on? I know, okay, I know, here, I know least. No, I, I, here's I what, know least. Here's what, I think this is what God does, right? <laughs> they gave me... He makes mistakes. Yeah. yeah. Right? So he'll be at his, you know, workshop table. How do they break it? Is it like head? No, it's like, it's like a, one of those factories where they have like, you know what I mean? It's like a line. What do you call it? The, the, the belt? The conveyor belt. Conveyor belt. Mm-hmm. And then you just grab stuff, this and that, right? And like they fucked up and they put like a black woman's ass. <laughs> fucking you're insane. You know what I mean? And put it on the belt. And he was just like, because it's fast. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's yeah. elves, there's all kinds of stuff, right? Like, and he was like, what is this doing? Oh, fuck it. And it, throwing it down. You know what I mean? Like that should have been, that's on the other, you know? <laughs> so like with you, you were all the components. You, you have like basically traditional, just plain components and no no, no no nothing was mixed up with you yeah but you were supposed to be like you know I mean, he's just like one play, of, player one like, he's a pawn wonder bread in a war npc yeah you're like an npc oh you like the third guy that gets shot in saving private ryan like no one watches that you're like the 54th like side quest so you're saying uh, he wasn't a mistake but he was made quickly so quick like there was a, Point, really oh, a oh, prototype that uh i don't know okay yeah, you they were supposed to die, to... I think, years ago. They knew how to do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? You were, you were supposed to be expendable. They'll just make more of you. You know what I mean? But you copy survive, and that's great. Copy, paste. They, yeah, they copy, paste. Is there a part of him you feel might have taken even slightly more, um, a few seconds more than the other parts of him? I, I think mentally, yes. Yeah, like yeah, the they brain? Ma- oh, that's right. Inside. Maybe, ins- th- maybe you went you to the inside department. because th- I'm talking about outside. Okay. So the, when when the body goes through the conveyor belt, he does that, right? But maybe God doesn't do the inside. They, I mean, the uh, insides, maybe, right? Who does that, Mary? <laughs> Wait, hold on. That's a, um, yeah, 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 Mary, yeah, Mary, <laughs> Mary, Moses, his mother, Mary, Moses, Moses. <laughs> yeah, inside. All the prophets do insides. Yeah, they do the insides, yeah. Um, Holy Ghost, yeah, he's yeah. in there too. You know, um, J- Job. Job. What does Job do? I don't know. I think his book is like two pages long. Yeah, but he's a legend. Job is not. What, what about um, you? Uh, were in a different pink. You're in a pink room. Pink room. What's in? What happens in the pink? It's room? sort of like you know, <laughs> you know what it is. It's like you know how sometimes they make toys or limited edition. Mm. Like on your body, they probably there's probably a number like four thirty two. We're only making five hundred. Should we check? Oh, it, it, okay. I see what you're you saying. You know what I mean? Yeah, She's yeah. like a limited edition. Mm-hmm. You know. I want to take a mirror to my pussy after this. Maybe <laughs> Even there those is. Numbers are there. Three, four. Okay, so where do, where do you think they he? What part of my body was he like? Yeah, fuck it. Like, let's just. I don't really need to spend that much time on that. Your titties. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Okay, you're yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. A titties. cups for life. Yeah, your titties. Uh, sweat. Or maybe your brand. Your brand. You know what I mean? They, there's a smasher. What's a smasher? A smasher. You, you, they didn't just go, and there's like a little, like you know what I mean? Oh, and they like smash a... your titties. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh, a smasher. A yeah, titty yeah, smasher. Yeah, a titty <laughs> smasher. <laughs> guys, do you guys hear that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like to make tortillas? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the tortilla thing. It just squishes your breast out. You're but right. The way they make me, I think, is like um, they make like 2,000 of us at one time. Oh, you're like a minion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, bah, bah. Yeah, it's all It's just like, you know, this thing that has like little slots in it, and they just put a thousand like yellow yeah. dough, and they just, and just throw it down. Yeah. It's like, you know how you have single stickers? You're like a, stinger, a sticker sheet. Multiple at the same time. Printed. Yeah. Have you guys heard of that company, um, um, Imperfect Fruits? Yes. I that? would say that you, you guys, all of us here are a box. It's like they they sell unpre- like unpretty that would be, apples that would be and thrown bananas away. or zucchinis. Like they would normally be thrown away because they don't look good on the produce shelves. Um, but people have taken those imperfect fruits and sell them for lesser of a price. They taste the same. They just don't look as perfect. But all the flavor is there. Huh. All so, the vitamins and minerals So are they'll there. sell boxes of fruit that look like vegetables look like this. Like what, oh, I see. See that orange? Like yeah. It has a veg. Imperfect fruit. Or like yeah. an eggplant. That's be, that should be a band name. Ooh. You know what I mean? Let's start a band called Imperfect Fruit. Or Blood and Cum. Either, either one. Yeah, Blood and Cum. You know what? <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Blood, blood, blood and Cum or Imperfect Fruit. I wanted we'll to decide. start. I wanted... <laughs> I wanted to start, if I were to have a solo podcast, I yeah. would probably call it Dick Breath. 
What do you guys oh, think? Oh, that's a really good one. <laughs> What's the meaning? You should have fucking done that. Because I was a... <laughs> Still can. Dick, dick breath, breath is a great one. What about for advertisers, George? Is that, is that a bad idea? Uh, just spell we'll dick with the asterisk. The, we'll have to get the special advertisers for that one. Yeah. Or dick. like, if, if I were like a big person, a bigger person, I would just do fat and cummy. Oh, fat and cummy. I like that that's one. That's pretty good. But dick breath has been my number one on my list for a long time. That's, that's a big one. That's a good one. Um... But we're all good and everything's fine. You know what I mean? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, I mean, so we're talking about the factory and that God and all that stuff. I don't know, man. I don't know how it works up there, man. Oh, yeah. We're all yeah, beautiful. Yeah. We're all beautiful, Bye. you know. What'd you do for your birthday? Uh, last night. My birthday's today, but last night I had a party. Mm-hmm. Uh, Which, wait, were Bobby and I invited or just me? Bobby was invited. I, I never got a text. You were on a text chain with me and Jane. I don't do text chains. Do you do what? I don't do text chains. I need individual text. I, look at my text chains. Oh, when, I can attest to that because I texted him and his assistant that we were moving the pod to 4.30 today. And he texted me like at uh, 3.59. Are we potting today? Yes, oh, I, don't do te- I don't do group. Yeah, what's the mental dynamic? Just too many people. Uh, you know what yeah, I, mean? like I don't you, know who it's for specifically. I just, I, I'm not somebody who chimes in a lot. I just, I, I get annoyed the more and more I read and I'm out of there pretty fast. But um, I will say... Um, he is correct because him and I have a group chat with the pool guy, me, the pool guy, and Jules, it's, and like it's just me, the pool, the pool guy, guy like the gardener. And it's it, he will never reply on that. But if I text him just me, he replies within seconds. Exactly. I need yeah. I need a specific individual thing. Do you know Irene too? Yeah, we. St- I, I met her when she was twenty. Yes, yeah, she. I think told me, "Are you going to go to Gilbert's party?" That's the first time I heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she texted me Friday she night. Said, "Who's Gilbert? I don't know who that is." Well, I always do that when they <laughs> when people say, "Do you know?" I, she goes, Wait, I don't th- I'll tell you why I do that. Uh, the reason why I do that, dude, is because every day I go, I walk around anywhere, and there's an Asian dude that kind of looks like you. You know what I mean? A trucker hat. You know what I mean? A mustache. Yeah. You know what I mean? They walk up and go, "I'm, I'm, I'm I did uh, a, a Chinese, you know what I mean, forum with uh, Gilbert or whatever. You know what I mean? And I'm like, Chinese forum. whatever. You know what I mean? I did a talk group or improv class or yeah. something, right? A writing seminar with Gilbert, and I always go. I don't know who he is. That's good. So I don't. I don't want to get involved. I like. Did you watch her stand up? She's good. Okay, I was gonna. Ask. I just like. I. I don't. I don't I, when I watch people do stand up, I don't even know what's going on. I can't tell what's good or bad anymore. I just watch. You know, if they if they're at, on the improv on my show, you just make an assumption that they're like at that level. She got laughs. She's a nice girl. That's all I care about. You know. Yeah. Anyway, happy birthday. What'd you do? Went to, you, I, I didn't go. Uh, we just did a, it was last minute. It was a 24 hour in advance invite. So it was more just like, it might, it might be my last time in Arts District. So I was like, oh, I'll just have people over. So happy, happy birthday, birthday to <laughs> you. God damn happy it. Happy birthday to <laughs> you. Let me blow it. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, dear Gilbert. Gilbert. to blow. Here goes. Happy birthday. Oh my god. I made a wish. Do you want a cupcake, sweetie? No, I already had that other thing you gave me and my stomach is fucked up right now. And the cocoa pot? Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah. George, I'll, I'll, would you I'll, like I'll one? eat them later. Okay, I have oh, a no. box for you upstairs. Okay. Right. Uh, uh, cupcakes? Uh, of cupcakes. What level yeah. are the cu- cu- cupcakes? What do you mean what, what level? What what place? Yeah, how level? Oh, half baked. Really good. Oh, that's a good level. There's a, a good salted one. caramel yeah. one, there's an Oreo one, there's a strawberry cream, a carrot cake, a dulce de leche, a lemon. Um, well, thanks for going double there. chocolate. Because if they would have gone, they would have gone to like CVS or, you know what I mean? To get the Walgreens. <laughs> Whatever. They always get like ghetto, you know what I mean? Factory made. I don't like it. You're right. I was, gonna, I, f- I was gonna get you Magnolia cake. I appreciate it. You know, you know the taste. You, yeah, yeah. You got yeah. it right. You got I don't fuck around with food. Kroger. 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 One time I was on a TV set and they're like, let's get d- pizza. And they got it from Kroger. I didn't eat one. Kroger does not have, oh, maybe pre like frozen pizzas. No, they, no, they, they have it. They make, they have it. Baked, I don't know, how do you, do you bake? Pizza? You Wait, are the Costco pizzas <laughs> Bro, you're a good? pizza expert. You have pizzas in they that freezer. Them. Yeah, yeah. Wait, does um are the Costco pizzas any good? Uh, the frozen. If one. you're on a budget, yes. Oh, okay. They're good for parties. I have the poo. Go ahead. Take a poo. It's Tiger Belly. Oh, my, my stomach is going because crazy. Because you had a cupcake that I gave. Oh, the the only thing you ate today was a cocoa puff. I yeah, I, I I can't eat cocoa puff when I'm an empty stomach. Oh, okay. Well, I also want to do a shout out to um, Shakewell. What's up, dog? What's that? Shakewell's my boy. Um, he, Shakewell is the white version of me. He's on the movie that I'm doing. And um, when I first met him, I'm like, oh, this is literally like what I would be like a white guy. 
And because I, I go, um, how's your penis? And he goes, <laughs> he said to me, touch it, see. <gasps> and I went, and then my eye, I start tearing up. Wow. You know that emoji, what you sent me with the big eyes and like, you know, trembling, crying. crying. That's, you. Yeah, that's I was like, oh my, and all shoot long, it's like, I would walk up to him and we'd r- rub our penis. <laughs> to, I mean, this guy is the best. This guy's open. This guy's this free. Guy. This guy's open. This guy's free. This guy's the future. I love this guy. Andrew is his name. Shakewell is his stage name. He's a hip hop artist. Mm. One of the greatest on earth. Um, he's got. I, I, if I would let myself go, I'd have his body. Um, what does he look like? Look it up. That's him. Shakewell. So if you let yourself go, you would have his body. You guys. He looks like a regular. That's him. Cutie. Yeah, he's got a look. Yeah, he's got the, a look. The point. Yeah. The man yeah, yeah. Bun. Good eyebrows. Yeah, he's the bastest kid. I wouldn't expect a face like that to be. He has like tattoos on his face, face, on the side of his face. He has a, um, a bullet on one side and then like a, a, a axe on the other. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, oh they're all he, on that picture of him laying down. Let's see. That's he yeah. looks good cool. to his. He's got a cool vibe. Yeah, that's Shakewell right there. Oh. And, I yeah. feel like you guys have similar bodies. I, I'm like he's a little heavier than me if you saw him in real life. Um, yeah. but this dude is like um. Like if you stabbed him, you know what would come out? Not blood, steel cut oatmeal. Mm. Oh, delicious! <laughs> you know what I mean? And marshmallow. I mean, this dude is, but he's so talented. What a nice guy! And honestly, like if I was in prison, we'd have a baby. I uh, think you guys sound like come baby. it. Yeah, but he's the best. So shout out! Look at him. Look yeah. at him. Roll. That's him. He's a little bigger. Look at him. That's his body. A guy like that coming up. Hey, you can touch my penis. I wouldn't expect that from him. Oh no, he's like love it. He's the type of guy that's like for a laugh he'd let let me butt fuck him. <laughs> just for the just for the laugh. I good. hate to yeah, say yeah, it, yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I hate guy. to say it, but what? sounds like my type. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That last sentence, that last descriptor of him. Yeah, yeah. If, if you know, if I asked, they'd let me. Like, yeah, I love, I love half gay. Yeah, I love <laughs> half gay too. Like half gay, chubby and sweet. You think I'm half gay? I pretty am. I I pretty, I pretty am. am. I pretty am half gay. I pretty am. <laughs> I pretty am. Yeah, but um, he's the best. And, you know, I mean, here's another thing is why do I feel bad when only people go, I've been getting this a lot lately, like, oh, Mad TV, what have you been doing lately? That would hurt. You know, I, I do. Should yeah, that? But, but, do you but, think it's malicious, though, when they, some of these people? No, I think they just don't know. They're like, you know, yeah. they just like, where have you been? They're also equally as nervous, probably. And they, they, they probably like walk away feeling like, oh, why the fuck did I ask that? Yeah, I was gonna ask, what's your guys' most common small talk from fans? Oh what's my. like the what's like the first thing? Oh my god. Here's the worst. When they come up to me, are you Bobby Lee? That's what that's not too that's bad. Not that com- that yeah, common. it's better than saying Ken. You know, that's no, no, the no. worst. Well, I mean, it's just like who might I be then? The, my favorites are these ones. <laughs> that is, that's I mean, that's the second question. Who might I be? It's not Bobby Lee, who is Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you know, I li- Andrew the- Como, I, 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 or I don't know. Yo, Andrew Como. Oh, <laughs> shit, it's Bobby Lee. My bad. <laughs> Dude, I hope you get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My favorite ones. My favorite ones are when they like somehow. Not that they even mix you up with an Asian, but they have a name that is set in their head and it's a wrong. Like when last time we went hiking, uh-huh. that dude was like so confidently, he was like, dude, dude. And the girl was like, wait, who is that? And he was like, fucking Robert Chan. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Something yeah. I hate that's that. completely different. Like Robbie Chan. Yeah. <laughs> Robbie or, Chan. Or I hate when I was at um, Sunundang last night yeah. at like one Shout of the Shout out, morning. best ever. Yeah, best ever. And I was waiting in line. They're so rude, by the way. New location or old location? Wait, they usually lo- love you. Your name's there. So rude. So rude. Get in line! <laughs> I mean, that's what he, the guy said last night. So I got in line and I went. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't argue. Especially if, as he goes, get in line. And then I remember, I look, whenever they, they treat me shitty there, I look on the wall and I wrote them a letter and it's framed on the wall. Yeah, in the back. But I want to go, but he's Korean, so I don't want to go, you know, it's, it's a whole thing. But I was sitting there how in line. Would say, how would you say it, though? Like, oh, uh, uh, I remember the poem I wrote? I'm on the wall, frame. Just don't talk to me like that. I'll wait in line, but don't talk to me like that. Mm. Mm. Okay? But there was a group before me, and they're like, Bobby, and, I go, and they go, you want to sit with us? I go, no, no. And then five minutes later, sit with us. I said it four times, mm-hmm. right? And um, I, I know. And then I go, I'll just wave. You know, I'll sit at a different table, but periodically I'll wave and like say hi to you guys. Yeah. So they said, I sat... I just remember eating going, I have to do the wave again. 
<laughs> right? And they're like, ha, giggling, you know what I mean? But it would ruin my meal because every five minutes I had to do that thing. That God, you wait, it to the bit. I had to do the bit. Wait, you did this? Yeah. I like that one. That's I do that. that. that yeah. But you know, I have I know this for a fact because I've had people over the years send me like photographic evidence of you randomly joining people for meals. Like for example, mm -hmm. like one of my friends, um, Angeline, uh. she was like, you know, random, um, but 10 years ago, Bobby just joined our dinner one time. Yeah. He was like, he happened to be there. We happened to be there. We're like, oh, you want to join us? And apparently you were like, yeah. And then you joined them. But... I think there was more of a motive because she's stunning. She's super pretty. Oh, you think I was a fuck patrol? And I think you were on fuck patrol. I don't do fuck patrol. Okay. And then all the people in her group were extremely good looking. Mm. So. Do you think I'm shallow? A little bit. Maybe. Yeah. Wait, wait, I'm going to. But what do you. You think I would sit with a bunch of like. Uggos? <laughs> I mean, that's so right. hard to do. There's, it's like, there's a table of a bunch of me's with black asses. <laughs> there's just no way. <laughs> exactly. There's just no way. And, and, and uh, you know what? I'm shallow. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll throw that out. I'm fucking shallow. There you go. Yeah. Even uh, fans that, you know, you know, um, after a show, it's like, oh, I'm going to feel no. so bad. Oh, no. no. You're, you're beautiful, everyone. No, everyone's beautiful, beautiful. on the inside. And, and I, I, no, everyone's beautiful on the outside. Diverse, no, diversity on the outside. Di diversity. I love diversity. diversity. Is that what you said? Yeah, diversity. I love diversity. I love right. it, right? Yeah. But um, I have to admit, there is a little bit more attention, even if they're a, a, like more a little attractive. And, and I hate that. Why do you, why well, do you hate that? That's normal. That's life. That's but like, that, why is life like that, though? Well, pretty privilege is a real thing. We got to quit, we, we quit that. Quit what? No. Yeah, I want to be able to just say hi to somebody that's like, and have, give somebody attention if they're not, you know, a Peloton model. Okay, say the Peloton model is a I fucking, talks to you in a certain way, like that waiter, but then the uh, not as beautiful Peloton model human being is just very kind to you and actually connects with you. What would you still, would you rather go for the Peloton model? Uh, can I say this, though? There is somebody, I'm going to say her name, but um, she, she, um, is somebody that isn't that attractive, okay. but she's so cool that yeah, I do give her attention. She's cool, so no, no, I, you know, you know, I'm not that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But hopefully, she doesn't hear this and find out that you don't find her attractive <laughs> after all. But that's, that's why that, I didn't, that's why I did, female e. That I know, but that's why I I didn't even give you any specifics. You have no idea. I could probably I'm, guess. I don't think you can. I'll tell you later. Okay. Okay. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know no. nothing. Um. God, I cried this morning because I saw that video with Joe Biden hugging the ki that kid with uh, Down syndrome. Did you see that? No. So I guess he's like addressing Parkland shooting victims or one of the shootings, right? And he says say hi to a family, and then this kid, this kid with Down syndrome, goes, "My dad died too," and ran up to hug Joe Biden, mm -hmm. and Joe Biden hugs him. It, oh my God, it made me cry so much because it's like you don't. I know. I guess we, he's first of all. I, I not not. Oh, let me just say, we, we, he's not the greatest. I mean, I, for me, it's like I would rather it's, have someone it's, younger. It's funny you say this because there's another video like at this exact moment of him like sh like talking shit to a female reporter. So that's going around too. Oh, there is. Did yeah. you see the other one though? Yes, I did see that. But it's, it's funny how like two both is going. Will be going on at yeah, the same yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you see that? Sure. It. I haven't seen it. No. Sure. Oh. I don't know. I've been what, underwater what, the what last I, couple what days. What do I type? Just put um, Joe Biden hugs. Um, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> if I cut that we bleeped that out. We don't know what he said. We bleeped it, but you don't know what he said. Joe Biden hugs. I'm going to type Joe Biden hugs. That's go. That happens. There you go. Is there? Yeah, Joe Biden hugs. That's sweet. That's a sweet moment. That's sweet. You don't think it was hug? No, it was sweet. Yeah, yeah. It's sweet. Of course. I mean, you just want your leaders to like hug, a, you know what I mean? Be empathy, you know, you want empathy and course, some yeah. some tenderness, you know what I mean? That's all. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's it, this this podcast is delicious. It's just, I think it's derailed. I think it's it derailed so many. This I is there anything in this? Um, so much. There's a lot. There's yeah. A lot. It's not all, 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 all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, did you try watching the Game of Thrones, by the way? I, not yet. No, no, please don't. No, I'm not saying anything me. because I watched five minutes and I just went, uh, fuck this. Okay, oh, was, really? No, my, a lot of people, my sister did not feel that way. She was like, I'm, I'm in. 
See, that's what I want to know if it's. The, I don't know who's the, what, who the. I don't but know. Isn't that There's the exact nobody same? like in the first uh, first episode. Yeah, but sweetie, it, that's exactly what you said. It took you three attempts at the first season of Game of Thrones. No, but I'm trying to equate w- the. This is the past, right? Subtitle los, babe. You got to fucking. So I don't know subtitles. who, the, what, and he or she is they. from the, the the show that we saw you know, a couple years ago. Watch it with fresh eyes. I don't know what the, the relation hearts. between. I forget who a Targaryen is. I don't know any of that. Uh, it okay. wasn't. It wasn't hot enough. It wasn't like there wasn't like. It was just like people you didn't care about being mean. For yeah, first for for an hour. Like yeah. if you watch the first episode of the original Game of Thrones, right? There's, it hooks you. It hooks you with the fucking White Walker. Really? Because is that why I had to have you rewatch the first episode three fucking times? And then finally, I was like, you know what? You're gonna have to put on uh, subtitles. And then the fact that you complained about the entire second season because you're like, I'm so lost because you forgot the entire first season. And then what happened was George, back me up. But he's right about this one. That uh, I'm I, I, so I, right I, about this one. I'm so right about it. Despite the I'm character, watch it tonight. I want to say. I saw. He is right about. I saw one. Joe Rogan post about it and said like, "Oh my God, this is it! Like they're 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 on it yet again, and really? we are." It was the for... big uh, most watched thing on HBO ever. Of course, of course. It was. Yeah, even more than Sex in the City. city. Well, I just read it once. Probably. So I don't, I mean, I, uh, you don't know numbers. No, because it, and just like that was. I mean, not that it, you know. I, I feel one way or another. I just, but I, but I they said that that was. I a, saw a headline. I was trying to. Shoot a fact I'll take out. second I'm whistle sorry, to, I'm sorry. I should, to Game of Thrones. Should, yeah, to Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah, why not? I just tried to throw out a... I like that word. You take headline. second whistle? I'll take the second whistle to it. Yeah, I've never whistle. heard that. I just made that up. You know, when people go... I, just, I make up terminology and sayings. You know that, right? No, but like I want to yeah. break it down. Break it down to what? Second whistle. So, you know, when you see someone, you're like... What's the first whistle? <laughs> oh, yeah. But then that, The second uh, one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, second whistle. Yeah. These things make sense. Yeah. I know. Oh, I, I, oh, God, I just want to say another thing that I, I figured out a trick. Two. I feel like a social trick. Okay, hit me with it. So I was writing in Koreatown. I was in a coffee shop, right? Oh, wow. Okay, writing at a Koreatown a coffee shop. Right? Why? I just have never heard you say that sentence ever. It's I'm, part of his let's go. single fucking... Single writing. No, 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 no. Writing in a c- coffee shop. Read between the lines, Gilbert. Oh, you think there's like oh. hot chicks coming out? Shut the fuck up. Let's be real. Uh, I need to write. Uh, I, I know. Bobby? When you say the whole yeah, thing's yeah. smirking, it's hard. Look, look at me right now. Yeah, I'm writing at Do a coffee shop. Do you not shop. want to be? I want to see be seen in general. Yes, okay. Okay, that's true. And write. But I also want to write. Okay. Yeah, Writing goes first. And what's the third thing? Good Being co- seen. Oh, it's just saying good coffee. Oh, good coffee's good the Good coffee's the one. Okay. Three. Yeah. Trying out bets on people who come up to you. Yeah, to, oh, that's, that's right, what George. you do? Yeah, well, yeah. if they're coming up. You know, ah, that's futons, it. what do you think? Uh, sir, <laughs> sir, shut up. Yeah. So j- this is, I just learned a life hack. Is it, I think it's a life hack. Life yeah. hacks, yeah. Right. Or, or, or a social survival I situation. I need this. I need this. So normally, <laughs> this, you know, this situation where a girl waves at you, uh-huh. you wave at them, uh-huh. but they're really waving to the person behind you. Uh. And then you have to go, you know what I mean? Oh. But I just figured out what you do. Never did. You pretend you're waving to somebody else as well. <laughs> Right? Yes. So that's what I did. So girl yelled. I went like this. I turned around and went, oh, fuck. And I go, no, no. <laughs> and she was like, she turned around and said, like, oh. And there was, then, there's no one behind me. <laughs> I don't think there was. I don't think there was anybody, but still, you know what I mean? A, a ghost or whatever, you know what I yeah. mean? It just, it does work. <laughs> she go, oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, and if she says there's no one behind me, ah, wrist hurts writing a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's, dude, right? Yeah. Have I you like, ever done that where you wave somebody and they're waving at somebody else? Yeah, of oh, course. Yeah, yeah. I've just try it. Never thought of that though. You just you have to survive. I don't want to try that. You gotta try it. I, yeah. <laughs> I just show like overt <laughs> embarrassment. No, don't. What I do is like, like oh my god, <laughs> and like, oh my god, I do this like really. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. I know. So don't do that from now on. That's shame. Yeah, and I, it's embarrassing. Sometimes I double down and I'm like, oh my god, how embarrassing was that? I thought you were waving at me. Oh, that's a the that's, what the writing thing is good too. Maybe I'll try that. Where I'm doing this, right, right, and then they're like waving at somebody like, else. Hey, then I'll no, go, no one's behind you. Yeah, or and then I'll just wave this one like this, and just like I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm doing like a you know what I mean? I'm like Calis- loosening. Yeah, 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 yeah. Calisthenics. Calisthenics. You, I'll you do start, something. You start stretching on the ground. Yeah, yeah. Start start doing push-ups or something. You know what I mean? But you that situation is like you know Ugh. it's so embarrassing, and I just 
You got is that a life hack or? Yeah, that's a life hack. Can we get some more uh, life hacks? Yeah. Well, what, what is another embarrassing thing that could happen? Oh, like what about like a, a fart situation? Public a cafe. A lot of people around. I I like farts. Do you though. go sorry or do you guys you wink to everyone? No, I was on set the other day and Kate Upton sitting next to me. Uh huh. Yeah. Why didn't you ask her to? And come I go on the and show? I go. I ripped. I forgot she was sitting next to me and I ripped one. Mm. Like it, like. What, you know what I mean? What did she say? And she she goes she goes like she looked and she and she sm- <laughs> smiled. And I went, oh, that's yeah, but that's I don't classic care about, of I don't give a fuck. Interesting. You know what I mean? It's like you either roll with Bob or not. Okay. And she rolled with it. I feel like she'd roll with. She's Bob. so cool. She, she that is. girl's so cool. I asked you to get her on this show, and then you didn't ask. <sighs> how do you, it was the fart? I just don't know how to ask that. Like I just met her. I worked her for three days. You not, you, you slowly get into like I worked with Johnny Knoxville for three weeks every fucking day. I might not even ask him. Right. I'm afraid he's gonna say no. Right. Mm. You know what I mean? So I don't know. You know, I don't know. I, I I mean I don't know I just don't know how to do that. You know? I'm gonna ask Johnny eventually, I think to promote this movie, maybe. Oh that's smart, yeah. Yeah, but um yeah, I don't know. I, I don't it's hard. Is there a life hack to see that's something embarrassing to you? So is there a life hack to someone saying no to a podcast? Like what what could you raise storm if like what is the um what do you call it in psychology when someone has a massive fear of rejection? It's called something now. Can you call like rejection aversion or something? I don't know. Like I feel like that's almost every guy with a girl when they're growing Dude, up. Dude, I will say this. I will say this. Let me just right, yeah, go, go ahead. ahead. God. You know, you Let go me try ahead. to figure this out. Yeah. So call, I'll, ask be, me. I'll be Johnny Knoxville. Yeah. So you're gonna ask me. Hey, uh, John. Yeah. Can you? I don't. You know, I don't. I don't want to be direct. We just met, but can you do my podcast? I, uh, honestly, man, no, I don't do that. Oh, yeah. Really. I was just kidding. Anyway, I don't want you on it. Oh my god. Is that good? I was just kidding. I want. I was just kidding. I want. No, I want, no, you're not. Okay, here we go. It's called. Ooh, that's so, that's so rough. Go ahead. That yeah. Here it's called. Reje- <laughs> go ahead. Rejection sensitive dysphoria. Okay. So, so people with ADHD. Oh, me too. Bob. Mm. It makes it harder to focus, pay attention, and sit still. Most people who have ADHD are also very sensitive to what other people think or say about them. This is sometimes called rejection-sensitive dysphoria, or RSD, which is not a medical diagnosis, but a way of describing certain symptoms associated with ADHD. People who have RSD don't handle rejection well. They get very upset if they think someone has shunned or criticized them, even if that's not the case. Up to 99% of teens and adults with ADHD are more sensitive than usual to rejection. And nearly one mm. in three say it's the hardest part of living with ADHD. I would have that. So maybe think, that's what it is. And sometimes you create your own, like sometimes when it's not that big of a deal. I create my own fantasy land. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah same. I, I, I create these narratives in my head that like, um, it's like, it's like I, I create four narratives to see, you know, to a situation that aren't even real based on any kind of reality and then i'll like cling on to one of those narratives which which one is the one that that's most believable and then i'll use that as truth which is so terrible i have a perfect example okay sometimes you think not just one person but an entire organization hates you you're like netflix hates me yeah and it's like who in netflix how in netflix like the entire everyone sitting on their desk at netflix (laughs) the marketing team the hr and yeah. you're like, yes, I'm so sure of it. And you're so certain you've convinced yourself that all of Netflix hates you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because I'll, I'll audition for one of their shows and not get it. And then in my head, I'm like, hmm. oh, yeah, they hate me. Or you think of one person who's a higher up there and then you fixate oh, yeah. on that person and then you think all of Netflix is them. The one person represents. Well, I mean, but I, I okay. But like, I look at though, like what they, you know, like, you know, their comedy roster, who they like. Mm-hmm. Right, so you look at their photos, like Nick Kroll, Ali Wong. There's a this group of people that they keep advertising. They're always together, right? And, and then, like you know, I'm I'm not involved in any of that, right? Like, they, I'm not invited to the party. I don't know how to get into that group. This and that. We talked about it with Neil and this and that. But it's like you know, so based on that, those kind of things, I kind of make I create a narrative in my head. You know, I mean, I, I'm sorry, this is gonna sound crazy, but I, I believe I know what my skill set is. I know the fan base that I have, and I believe that I'm, you know, one of the b- best. That's hard to say. I believe I'm one of the best. Yeah. Just based on the things I see in reality, you know what I mean, which is 
You go to the improv, there's photos of me framed with all the ones that Netflix likes, right? There'll be a frame photo of me next to Joe Coy, next to Ali Wong, right? And so it's like, then I turn a corner and there's another photo of me and I go, it's like that at the comedy store. You see, you know. So why does the other thought supersede the f- truth? Because I'm not invited to their thing. Is that what you're asking? Yeah. I was, it seems like you even just said it, like, I'm up there on all these things. At the club level, right? Yeah. So though to me, when I look at the comedy clubs in L.A. and, you know, when I go on the road and I see my numbers and I see the kind of acting work I'm getting, the opportunities, in my head I'm like, I should be in this group, but I'm not, and I don't know how to get there. But you don't need to build I don't want to be in now. Every I group. will not be in Like, now. you also have a very special muscle, which... To me, even though I've been podcasting with you for like 10 years, no one, like anytime I see you on the YouTube algorithm, I'll click. I could still watch anything you do on any podcast and you still, no one makes me laugh harder. So it's like, that's a very, very, and even on the days yeah. that I hate you the most, yeah. I cannot deny that you make me laugh the hardest. Oh. Interesting. Thank so it's you. like, you're welcome. Yeah. Why don't you make eye contact with her? He I, I, don't like compl- I don't like compliments. Yeah. Not oh. even from me. Yeah, oh, yeah. wow. Interesting. Yeah. It Touché. actually Touché. makes him hate me. <laughs> Take that, Lila. <laughs> Touche <laughs> back Touché. to you. Um, yeah, it's hard to, it's hard to um, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm trying to change that about myself, and I want to be able to. At, at the end of the day, it's like I, I would not trade anything for the world because I, um, I like where I'm at. I like my fans. I like my lifestyle. I like everything that's around me. So why would I change that? Mm. I also wouldn't change the past at all. So it's just like you know, it is what it is. I, you know, I, I mean, also like all these things I'm saying, I, I'm, I think I'm getting over and I'm growing above it yeah. or beyond it. You know, I am. You know, I'm sorry. Why are you I'm sorry? sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry about it. Even talking about it. <laughs> it's like I, I don't want to do. It. I'm grateful. I'm so blessed. So sorry, guys. Now, when God made now. my titties, <laughs> when God made my titties, what about them? Like, aside from size, did he get wrong? Like the nipple hair? You're beautiful. You have beautiful titties. But the nipple hairs, maybe I pluck them. You've never seen one. I've never me. seen a nipple hair on your titty. Yeah, I've been. I have so many. You do. Yeah. He doesn't like it. Brittle yeah. stars. Yeah. I don't, I'm okay with male nipple hair. Sweetie, you're very beautiful. Oh, and your tits you. are perfect. You're perfect. You thank know? you. I hate that. Can you take that back? Why? I'm, You're beautiful. I also cannot look at you when you well, say yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm used to the opposite. Have you guys been watching the um, the Little League World Series of both softball, like for girls, and baseball for boys? No. Why is it good? But the Philippines, I think we made it to the semifinals. Yeah, they're all 19 years old. Just because we cheated in the '90s doesn't mean we're we're cheating cheaters again. now. Are they cheating? No, they're from Negros or Occidental or Oriental. Don't ever say the word oh. again. Hello. That's how you say it. It truly is how you say it. <laughs> Negros. Oh, Negros. Negros my bad. Negros Occidental. <laughs> One more time, Bobby. Negros. Negros. Yeah. Negros. Yeah. Are they winning? Well, no, I think it's over already, but they made it to the semifinals and I think they lost too. But they're such a, they're so freaking cute. And most of them are like American teams. And here's this like team that's. And guess what the Philippines won? What? What? They won the Team Sportsmanship Award as well. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah. What do you mean, why? That's huge. It's like that means getting everyone... a medal for attendance. No. Yeah, what is that? I mean, w- w- sportsmanship, what do you mean? They smiled, they shook hands better? Yes. Right? And they went, what is that? It's like Miss, what's the, what's the thing in Miss America? Miss congeniality. It's a congeniality. That's a hard thing to get. It's good sportsmanship. Basically, people got to, it's But that's not skill no, based. No, it's not skill based, but it is charisma based. So what it, it's basically saying, oh, these are the most enjoyable people to be around. Like, yeah. you know why the, not to. It like, makes a sport worth sporting. They're just happy to be out of Negros right now. You know what um, I mean? They're like, we're not there. You know what I mean? But also, they just love the sport. Like, I can, I don't. B- bottled water? This is great. Why are they, <laughs> why are they Italian? I don't know. Bottled water? This is great. This is great. Grazie. It, yeah. Go ahead. Two things. Uh-oh. Like, in order for a team from the Philippines to make it this far. I'm so proud of you guys. 
Thanks, man. The fact that we have almost little to no support. Second of all, baseball is or softball is not a huge sport back home. Everyone's very into like basketball, into boxing, mm. into billiards. Mm. But like, so baseball is very like niche back there. In Asia, yeah. It's like yeah. a Japan if anything, Japanese would be yeah, right. Japanese. Korean even. And Koreans, yeah. Um, but like growing up, you know, my cousins played baseball, but they didn't they, there's not just a whole lot of support. So the fact that they like Made it to the semifinals. Ten so, teams. That's amazing. That's incredible. So out of ten teams, they took ahead, top just, four. They took top four. Yeah. Ah, that's good. <laughs> it really is. Think about it. <laughs> it's good. Break it down. Yeah, yeah. Why is it good? They beat six of the teams. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's good. You're not in the top. You sell me on one. You're on the good. last four. Let, yeah. Let's talk about the positive. Yeah. They're not in the last four. Yeah. You, never, you never want to be in the last four. You don't want to be in the last four. Um, they're really fun to play with because they're right. they have smiles. They're happy. They're happy. They're happy to be out of Negros. Yeah. Right. So they're like, "Hello, everybody. Hello, good to see you." You know that type of thing, yeah. right? Uh -huh. So that's another good thing. Um, do they all have matching uniforms? Can you guys afford that? Or yeah. is there one guy wearing pink? I mean, S I so <laughs> do they white pink? I don't, is it the same like, uniform or maybe he's confusing with volleyball? How one person always wears a different. Right. Color. Okay. So they have the same uniform. They do. Yeah. yeah. That's good. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Right. Um, the the mitts that they're using, are they like standard mitts? No, it's shocker mitts. Three fingers, one. <laughs> oh, yeah, because okay, so they do that. They mitt. can't get individual slots for the fingers, so yeah. they have just a yeah. giant slot. Is it made out of leather, their gloves? Or is it made out of like, you know what I mean? <laughs> what? what? Like plastic CVS bags or... Oh, so they're just catching <laughs> with Ralph's bags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't know that, but I think it's leather. I'm so mean. What? Sorry, guys. No, no, we're no, not. Congratulations, dude. Honestly, from my heart. Did Korea make it? No. Congratulations. Did they make it? Mm -mm. Japan, did they make it? No, I don't think China. So. No, it was like, what are the 10 teams? A lot of them were American yeah. teams, it's right? It's mostly Americans and then the Philippines. Yeah. So the other day you said a word that I had never heard of before, but you insisted was a real word. Uh -huh. And you were like, it's just like whatchamacallit, which I know. I know, know whatchamacallit, but you said, you, you said doohickey. Yeah, doohickey. I've never heard doohickey. I haven't either, but George is nodding, so it yeah. must be from his land. No, doohickey is just a word that people used through the generations. And how do you use it? Like when you don't know what a thing is called, you say doohickey. It's, oh, so it's just like what you might call it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or it's, like a contra it's more of a contraption. You call a doohickey. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They're right. Say, so, explain to me, George. Well, a what you might call it could just be anything. Anything. Whereas if it's a contraption that's like more mechanical, then it's a doohickey. Like if I was on a farm, I don't know what a thing is called. I go. You know what I mean? Like, how do you chop down the fucking wheat trees? But couldn't you just use whatchamacallit then, too? But this is more yeah, specific. But, yeah, it's oh, more okay. specific. Yeah, use you that. I think you use that doohickey. You need that doohickey that plugs into your Apple iPad. Uh, to make it, uh, right, right, TV. right. Yeah, yeah. That's a doohickey. Yeah. So it has to be an object that has a function. Yeah. Okay. Or thingamabob. Thingamabob? Yeah, I've, I've never, that. I've never it's used from thingamabob. From Little Mermaid. Yep. Thing, Little Mermaid uses thingamabob. thingamabob. Yeah. Would you call watch a toward like, um, can you use that for people? If you think people are it. What do you mean? Like you what race is Johnny? What you call it? That works. Yeah. Does that work? That works. It's not going to be a doohickey. Yeah, yeah. Doohickey. Yeah, that'd be weird. That'd be weird. Yeah. yeah. What is the equivalent of what you call it when you're trying to say a person? Um, <sighs> that does sound really rude, though. Is he a what you call it? What else is what you might call it though? It's something you eat. What is it? If it's something you eat, what is it? Something you eat. I don't know. Oh, a chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, a chocolate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is it a what you might call it? Is a candy bar or yeah, a chocolate? Yeah, it's a candy bar. Okay, yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. You I think for I've heard that, that in. Um, Have you ever had a what you might call it? No. American folklore. They're really good. Have you had a what you might call it? Of course. Oh yeah, they're, what they're are still they? around, right? Yeah. yeah What's yeah. in them? It's just crunchy. Yeah. What you might call it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. A, you don't know what it's. It's a thing of a bobs and a few. We should create a doohickey and thing of a bob chocolate bars. Yeah. Yeah. Like what would be in it? A doohickey would have like um <laughs> I don't know. It, can I tell It'd you? It'd have to do something. So when I was in my twenties, I was so sure that I was going to bars. um create the next big fit like America's favorite snack. And I, I, I remember writing like a business plan and the name of it was Choco Cheese. And choco cheese was basically because I like having like a, a cheese puff and chocolate and alternating between savory uh, and sweet. Mm. 
And then when I would tell people about choco cheese, they were like, Clara, that sounds absolutely disgusting. I like it. Salty and sweet, but with the it, cheddar. I've never then. seen like a wafer. Yeah. A, a, how about this? A cheesy wafer. Mm -hmm. You surround it with milk chocolate. I would love that. But I think I was on my period when I wrote the business plan. And I was like really having like weird cravings. Yeah, yeah. But honestly, to me, when you said that, that sounds so good to me. Wow. But I don't. I don't think that's everyone's. Well, no. I had, to you, it. last night. I, I ate a little bit with Eric Griffin at the Italian restaurant across from. His, I, I his, doubt Eric Griffin only eats a little bit. I'm sorry. Can you I take love, that out? No, <laughs> no. That stays in. That's, 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 no, that's, 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 that's funny. For sure. That's funny. That's no. no, that's yeah, 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 no, 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 you, yeah, that's funny. Well, I love. That's funny. Yeah, I need you to be that guy right now. Be, yeah, so that's keep that funny. In. We're keeping that. It's yeah, funny. But he had a cheese. No, please don't. Please don't. He had a cheesecake, but he goes, try this cheesecake. But I had eaten uh, um, like a pickled cucumber, yeah, which is called pickle. <laughs> yeah, why do we <laughs> wait, hold on. Oz? Yeah, I, 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 I had a pickle. I ate a pickle, and then I ate his cheese. And the, the you ate what? A cheesecake. Oh, I think you ate the, his. <laughs> yeah, you said yeah. he ate Eric's cheese. He ate his cheese. No, I ate it. I took a bite of his cheesecake, and the combination of the two flavors. Thank you. Was, it did something. Oh my god. Okay, so imagine a pickle pickle cheesecake. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe it'll that work. That sounds delicious to me. If you guys want to make this, I, we have, I know a co-packer. We can do food lab stuff to make something that you guys want. But let's do a survey of the land first because I feel like Bobby and I are the only two people who are liking each other's ideas right. right now. Present the options. We'll let the fans vote in the comments. Pickled cheesecake and choco cheese. Okay, so you have the pickled cheesecake option. And then what was the other one? Choco a cheese, cheese wafer with chocolate? Yeah, so a cheese wafer, like nacho flavor wrapped in a chocolate. Okay. So it's got to be the taste of a combo of like a cheese puff and a chocolate, like a Hershey's bar. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's like when you, I, I had um, a salad, a watermelon cucumber salad, but it had feta cheese on it. We all had that with you. No, with ice cream. I no, ice I just, cream. Yeah, no, yesterday I had it. Oh. You know what I mean? The ice cream thing though. But is there any way we can, can turn that into a candy bar? Okay, hold Probably. on, hold on. Let me see the flavors. The feta, feta cheese. Feta cheese. Watermelon. And watermelon. And cucumber. <gasps> that sounds so good. Yeah. But that, I don't think that would work in solid form, like in that way. It sometimes is very tricky because Trader Joe's, I just bought their new pineapple flavored kettle corn and it's disgusting. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I bought three bags thinking, oh, I'm going to love that? this. And it was so bad. Yeah. But shout out to their spicy mango, though. It's back. <laughs> it's back on the aisle. Would you rather eat a bowl of maggots that are alive? Yeah. Or. Oh, <laughs> oh okay eat that or if I had a little poo and you had to chew it and swallow it. Um, okay, so if they're medically like sterile maggots that they put on wound victims, yeah. I would rather eat that than your poo, especially if your poo is not fortified. I never said my poo. Oh, okay. oh what did I what what is say? It? Somebody's poo. Oh, who, who, hell no. You could chew on anyone's poo that you can pick. Okay, hang on. I get There's, to pick? I, I have questions about yeah. this. So, you know, people are known to eat poo. To we know no rider. Okay, but here... Is hey, it packaged? I'm, I'm eating that. Poop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because poop pills, I told you, we've gone through the discussion. Yeah, poop we, pills are real, that. right? Yeah. Is it packaged in a capsule or is it just raw from her butt? Yeah, it's gonna raw be. butt. Okay, so it's raw butt poop <laughs> or raw, raw butt is poop. it is it clean maggots or maggots I found on something rotting? Oh, it's, it's it's rotting. Yeah, I'm gonna. Go um, clean. I'm, gonna I'm gonna go with the maggots. Butt. Really? You're gonna eat Winona Ryder's poop? I said a bowl, not one. No, not one. A bowl. And then how small a bowl. is the poo? You're talking about 80 maggots. maggots. 80 maggots. Like okay. cereal. And how okay. big is the poo we're talking about? Raw butt? Wing, wing. It's the side of a choco ball. I cannot cook the maggots? I can do that. Which one? What's a choco ball R Rider's size? butt. Like it's a like Malteser? Big, like, a, like, a yeah. like a malt ball. Malt ball. It's very tiny. Um, and then I, I don't have the option you to eat. what Bobby said. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. No way. I eat the maggots. Are you kidding me? It's going to taste like whatever it's rotting on. I think maggots too. I guess I'm the only eat one shit. eating Winona Ryder's Why don't butt. you create a podcast called Shit Breath, <laughs> Gilbert? Yeah. I have another scenario then okay. for you. Would you rather have these powers? Okay. You can fly, but you can only fly as fast as you walk. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. So you're up there, but I'm it's like you're super, not going fast. Like you can't go to Baltimore in like 20 minutes. You know I'm I mean? notoriously the slowest walker alive. I yeah. would just, it would look like I was just hovering in one spot. It wouldn't even look like you're going anywhere when people are looking up. 
And that's why, why, why would you call it a superpower then? It seems like you're an flying. You're flying. You're, you're flying. You're a, okay, fine. a power. It's a power. I can fly as high as I can. You can fly as high as you can, but Just, you can only go as fast as you can run, I guess. Okay, hang on. A speed <laughs> sideways? Can, do I have speed upwards? It's all the same speed. All speed, no, every direction. You, no, can, you can go top, right? As far, you know, to the, you know what I mean? Stratosphere. Stratosphere. Right. Takes me away. And then you can let go of your power and you can drop. Yeah. And then still fly again. So that's cool. You're like a mobile game. You're just, you Actually, you could probably, at that point, travel fast. If you go as high as you can, and wind. you can a aim toward Baltimore mm -hmm. from L.A., maybe you could get there that way. Like a, a, a sugar glider. Yeah. yeah. Catch the trade wind. Okay. Yeah. So that's one power. The second power is once a day for five minutes, you can freeze time and walk around that time. Do you age? No. Mm. Who cares five minutes? If it adds up. I didn't age for five minutes. Yeah, I guess you. I guess it, it does add up. up. It adds up. Um, so I would probably choose um, the time for five um, minutes a day. Yeah, I would choose that because there's so many people I just want to beat the shit out of. <laughs> All right. Then they, I don't want them to be able to punch them, punch me back. Like Zach Morris. Yeah. Yeah. Just want to kick him in the fucking nuts. What about you? Freeze time. Why? I would steal. Oh. I'd go into a bank, right? And as soon as they opened the vault, I would freeze the time right then and there. Do they ever open? I've never seen a vault. Do you have a... Do you where have do you, wait, 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 where's the vault at in a bank? I feel like they it's don't in keep... the back, but I think, like, yeah, they've got to go in and out at some point. So you just, like, wait in line until somebody's... But I'd have to see it literally because I only have five minutes. Yep. Wait, can you... um? Like use up one minute here and then later on in no you have to no you have to use the five minutes in one chunk. Question. That's a very good question. Okay, so you can't splice it up. You can't splice thirty seconds a piece now. Okay, because that that really fucks you because then like you got to be real fast and quick. But you can do this at eleven at eleven fifty five at night, mm -hmm. right? You <laughs> can use both five minutes in a chunk. So oh, that's 10 minutes. But how are but you what can gonna, you do at 11.55 at night? No one's going to open was, that for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This all sounds like new Stardew Valley. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a new update. No, no, no. Because at midnight, it resets. Exactly. So at 11.55 at tw to 12.05, so you have a 10-minute chunk you can freeze time. But you can't rob a bank then. And there's no rollover minutes? <laughs> what do you mean rollover minutes? Oh, if you don't use your minutes from the day yeah, prior. Is it like a phone carrier? Can you get oh, that's interesting. 10 minutes the next day? Yeah. You can. Oh, oh easy. My God. Oh no no you can't you can't. No. It's you it's can't. it's too easy. Cuz then you would just like use 1 second and then collect time over time. Yeah. And a month later you can you have hours. You can't do that. Okay. My thing is I I think you should avoid fucking with time in general. Why? Uh one scene for me particularly Interstellar. Watching Matthew McConaughey age and then cry knowing his kids grew up. I just don't want to fuck with time. I'd rather... That's not in the power. No, it's still playing with time. I don't like the idea that... Say, I, I don't know, I fucked it up, and I just ha did that for like a whole week, and my whole life goes by. I just don't pay attention. I've seen movies like this. Yeah, it's... Flying, though, you live in the present. You're just literally the only person in the world that can slow fly. It's oh, yeah. Thing. That's true. It's also it. like in the movie About Time with Rachel McAdams. Exactly. Where it's like any tiny little shift could really, really change the outcome of the life you already enjoy. Like yeah. Butterfly a future that. maybe that was meant for you might not no longer be, you know, waiting for you if you switch just a tiny little thing about it. If you make a left instead of a right. Because that's like, for me, I, I believe in like the randomness of everything, right? Like I'm an atheist. I believe in the beauty of the random nature of everything. I think that every single turn you make, you can find a love of your life there. Like, I don't oh, feel... Oh, it's beautiful. So I think it's cool, like... It really is beautiful. <laughs> for instance, it had I gone... I was supposed to go to school in Switzerland, right? With my dad's sister. Really? I didn't um, so growing up, there was a point in time, I think, when I was, like, preteen, the, the plan was for me to move... My sister and I to move to Europe, study in Europe, whatnot. Um, and I think I could have had an equally spectacular life taking that route. Even if I'd never met you guys, like I believe it could have been something cool as well. Just think about that. You would not have any of the influence of Pasadena. <laughs> <laughs> but we, I've done this. It? Have you swallowed your ethics and made a decision yeah. that fucked a lot of people over, but 
it was still the right decision. Like what example? Like do I drink in my life, I had one decision that was ethically kind of ambiguous and kind of wrong, mm-hmm. and I hurt a lot of people's feelings, but it benefited me. Like what? <laughs> Tell us. Then you just have to live with it if you're okay with I'm that. I'm fine with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm really fine with it. But well, then it's not an ethical dilemma it's for not, you. It's it was. I still think about it, going, God, what a well, there you go. What a weasel you are. So you do think about it. What a insect. You know what I mean? So you're not okay with it, really, deep down. Maybe I'm not. But my life would have turned out completely different if can I didn't make that decision. Can we know what it was? Yeah, I can tell you what it is. Okay, yeah. Um, but it's a long story. I don't care. I want to hear it. We might as well. All right. So years ago, I, when I started doing stand-up, right, um, I didn't know Pauly Shore or his family or anything like that. I just was at the comedy store. And the La Jolla Comedy Store in San Diego um, – it's its own culture back in the day, right? You know, it's just like, and it has nothing to do with really the Hollywood Comedy Store, right? In terms of management or who, j- because you're a regular at the La Jolla Comedy Store, it doesn't mean, necessarily mean you get any love in LA. You don't. They don't know who the fuck you are, this and that. So when I first came to the La Jolla Comedy Store, there was this guy named Fred Burns and Ron Clark and this guy named um, other people. I forget, I'll figure it out later. Um, but they brought me in, right? Mm-hmm. So the man, so you know, Fred Burns guy, he goes, move into my place, you know what I mean? Because you're struggling. And he gave me a lot of stage time and a lot of fatherly advice and how to do comedy and this and that. And and you know, he really is the first guy to like kind of tell me that I am talented and tell me that you have a shot at this kid, you know? And then three years down two years down the road, um, I met Mitzi and Paulie in the gang, right? And they said one day, we're going to fire Fred Burns and everyone, even the waitresses, everyone at the club, and starting anew. But we want to keep you. And I go, okay, but you can't fuck with them anymore. Mm. Mm. You can't talk to them. You have to kind of join our It's fucked up of them to give you an ultimatum like that, though. Power play. Yeah, yeah. And I go, um... Okay, and then I had to go to Fred and those guys, uh, I'm going to join this team. <laughs> you know what I mean? And they're like, what? They fired everybody. So they were, they started their own club. They wanted yeah. to start their own thing, scene, right? And But Mitzi goes, and so what happened one time was they opened up a different club that didn't last, but Mitzi wanted me to go spy. Mm-hmm. So I went and spied for Mitzi to get dormant because you needed dormant. So I went to people at this other club mm. to sneak, to get them to, to come back to the comedy store in La Jolla. Recruit, yeah. Recruit, and they found out I was spying and a comic punched me in the face, oh, yeah. right? Jeez. And I went back and I, you know, I thinking back at that, I have problems with it. Oh my God. I like to defend young Bob. Okay, go ahead. Um, you were mm-hmm. put in a position of like, basically like that, a bunch of adults, Right, because mm-hmm. Mitzi was in her what at this point? How old was Mitzi? No, seventies. How old was Fred Burns? Fifties. Okay, these are people with let's assume fully formed brains who can impart wisdom on these young comics. Instead, they're number one requiring you to choose a team. Number two, preying on the fact that you have big dreams in comedy and making yeah. you actually like, um, what do you call it, like. Um, like a pawn. Yeah, like, like they're they're making you do their dirty work for them, Good. all the while knowing that you're gonna do anything to get to get to where you want to be, which is a comedian, right? So it's like, how old were you? Twenty three. Twenty five. Okay. Well, still, <laughs> like you probably. Your difference. He's like thirty eight. In two years. Like thirty eight. <laughs> you're probably broke. You no prob- money. Yeah, no money. You probably were not doing well in life. And- well, no, because at that point, what happened was, you know, Pauly and Mencia, I was opening for them on the road. Yeah. Right? And also, Mitzi had made me a paid regular. Mm-hmm. Right? And, you know, there was no one in San Diego at the time that were was a paid regular. I don't think that was Weasley only because you went with the decision that you thought was best for your career. And we all have to prioritize ourselves at some point, even if it means hurting their feelings. Now, like, you know, an apology down the road would have been like, hey, dude, that's kind of they fucked up. They both died. So you never apologized. No, they both died. But mm. did you make the right, did you choose the correct team? I chose the team 
to but, lead me to here. You know, and I, I, if I, if I feel like if I didn't choose that, make that decision, I'd still be in San Diego. You, you chose. I might be a better person, or I feel freer. I don't know, but y- I, I, you know, I look back at it all the time, and I go, "Is there any other option?" And I didn't because it's like I had no money, I had no power, and I, um, I went to the direction where I thought was gonna, you know, I mean, get me that these opportunities now. It sounds, it's, yeah, it is, it's like ethically weird and, and I feel like a weasel, you know? You're not the only one though. There, it seems like everyone. What would you have done? Um, probably the same thing. Cause like there, you aren't screwing over their careers necessarily. That was all, they were already getting fired by Mitzi. They were already, you're also, they were already stuck in San Diego. So you're also not the sole reason why their business went under. Like factors, you were able factors. to sense at that age that this was probably not going to take you somewhere because something about it, you know, was either on its way out, going down. And you were like, I'm going to take this ride instead because this seems like, a, you know. Yeah. So I was the I, only comic down there also with that option. Like if mm-hmm. other comics had that option and they were regulars and, they, and, and Mitzi had asked them, like, join the dark side or, you know what I mean, the light, Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, or whatever, I don't know what. Just join, yeah. Join, you know what I mean? I think that other people would have done that, but I I was the only one given that opportunity, right? But the problem was I was still living at Fred's basement. Right. So when I did made that decision, I could hear them through the vents. (laughs) Yo, bro. No, I really did. I'm not kidding you. That's why I moved to LA because I I remember hearing through the vents – that motherfucker, we're gonna fucking get that guy. You know what I mean? And like talking about you, about me. Oh my god! Right, and I'm like laying there, like late at night, going. It was terrible. I remember I would get boils on my face, yeah. and I, I remember one time I was at the panic, and during that time, and my friend Alan Meadows from high school met me for coffee, and he goes, "Dude, you look like shit." I look like shit. I, I couldn't sleep. You know, you know me. I'm so sensitive. I was like frazzled. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I think they're gonna kill me. I, I, you know, I have no allies here, and that's when I decided. I go, I think I called Mencia and I go, can you help me with money to get me to LA? Uh-huh. I think he gave me a couple hundred bucks to come up. I don't know, something like that. And I moved up and I lived um, in a. My friend Kalista was in LA, but I, I slept in my um, truck, in the comedy store parking lot for a couple of weeks. Because you were scared. That's when I moved up here, and that, that's right. when Jimmy Schubert gave you a sandwich. Gave me a sandwich. That's when yeah. that happened. But my point is, is that it was like fucking terrible. And then I, coming up here, I couldn't get anything going. You know what I mean? Mm. And no money, nothing. It was so hard. I, I just can't believe I survived all that. But I still think about that decision, I, and I go, "What could I have done differently?" I don't think there is any other option. I was given. A choice, and I made a decision. But you know, I feel I don't know. What have you done? Honestly, I don't think. I mean, in terms of auditioning, I feel early on there was some stuff where I probably didn't. Um, I was available to help some people do self tapes, and I said, "Nah, that were for the same role." Oh, the same role. Oh. Did they know that you had the same role? Uh, yeah, but I made up. But I didn't say not. Like, I just made an excuse. No, I want that part. I'm not going to help you. I didn't even say that. Or as you said, I'm busy. Yeah, but busy. you could have helped them. Could help them. That was like early two years right when I first moved here. All I was before all this. No, I was you're, just, you're just um, you're just like me. No, no, no. I, I'd like to uh, also defend Young Gilbert in this. I'm sorry. It's enough of a mind fuck for me to tape myself. Now I got to fucking psychologically fucking do another form of fucking mental backflip and then look at someone who's up against me it's hard enough to go into that room yeah, yeah, yeah. or to fucking record yourself no way dude it's even if you had told the truth and said you know what dude like we're going up for the same thing it doesn't feel right it does something to me that also would have been okay and i would totally understand but i did feel like i was going against what i wanted to do which was help them but i think it was just the rat who race are these them. idiots because like are they going to trust your notes? Somebody else going up for the same yeah, role? Yeah, exactly. Like, hey, maybe try that a little more goofy. Maybe they're looking for something goofy. No, that's why like, you, you could have sabotaged it. But see, that, see, now that's pushing me, too. I don't think I could do that. Because I would be, I, you know how I am with self-tapes. I genuinely want to help that person. Right. You did make the right decision. 
Yeah, you're yeah. protecting yourself. Because I would have been like, no, dude, you, should, you have to do it in an Asian accent. <laughs> More like a he. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, and have a stutter. I think that's a good choice. Yeah. Have a stutter Asian accent and you're blind. <laughs> Close your eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I would have just gave the most <gasps> fucked up notes. You know what I mean? The guy books it. Yeah. Or <laughs> he forget he fucking books yeah. that. <laughs> Strong <laughs> choices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy shit. Forget the script. Make up your own lines. You yeah. I mean? Improvise. And Go. then they get it, and then you're like, oh fuck, yeah, that'd be weird. <laughs> Agent acid stutter. Have you ever made any moral ethical decisions that were like that that you think about? Not like not that I can think of like career wise. I was just stupid with my career. Like at Maker Studios, does everybody know that Bryce got hired? When Bryce got hired as my assistant, he was earning more than me. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. Because I just didn't know corporate world or anything. It was just like I feel more stupid than unethical. Like I, I, w I wish I had been unethical in something just to get a little bit further, you know? I'd, uh... Yeah, yeah. You know, it's. Can I just say another thing that I have come to realize in my age is. Like, you know, even doing this movie that I'm doing with Theo and all these guys, right? There's a um, there's a maturity about myself in terms of, like, nervousness and hand handling pressure. Mm. Stuff that I can now do. It's really weird. It's like I, you know, I've had chunky things to say on this thing. Mm. And it's like I can memorize them super fast. Not even the night before, just driving there. I can memorize chunks of lines. Jeez. You know what I mean? And I can do it, right? And... um. And even earlier in my career, I was like, why am I not getting these things? Even if I got things, I wouldn't have been able to do it. I just didn't have the maturity. I was so nervous. And I was just so like, you know, um, if I fuck this up, this is going to happen. I was living in the results of everything. You know what I mean? That like everything that's going on right now is just I feel like I am at a level of confidence and maturity to handle things. Right. So I'm just, you know, I don't know. I feel that about even stand up in all these other areas. It's just like I wouldn't have been able to handle it twenty years ago. Yeah, mm. you know what I mean. I wouldn't have been able to do it even. It w I would have been a nervous wreck. I would have been spinning out. You know what I mean. And now it's like because no none of it really means anything. I always think that everything means meant something. Like if I don't do this perfectly. Or if I don't book this, or if this doesn't happen, that these other events are going to happen. And it, none of that is real. You know what I mean? I learned something really valuable in that same kind of yeah. vein. Um, you don't have to assign meaning to every feeling you have. Sometimes right. they're just feelings, and you let feelings come, you let feelings go. Yeah. To say, to try to like overanalyze, why am I feeling this? What does this mean? Is really like counterproductive. Just let them come, let them go. Sometimes they're just feelings, and they mean nothing. Yeah. Over therapize sometimes. Oh, a hundred percent. Oh, this must be from a childhood wound in the eighth grade. It's like no, it's just a feeling. It doesn't yeah. have to mean anything. And that's what I um I I used to do that where mm. I'm like, you know. Oh, like hyper aware of any tiny little change in my body or my thought process had to be from something that happened to me in the past. It's like, no, it's just a fucking feeling. But it doesn't mean anything. Yeah. It, yeah. And I wasted so much time just obsessing about things that don't really matter, you know? And if, if, if you continue to do that, you're just wasting life. Yeah. You know? We're doing fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, I, I am there thinking about all the time I wasted when I first moved here. I was like, I cannot believe I spent so much time doing my hair for every audition, freaking out about what to wear for the casting director. Yeah. It's like hours wasted. In hindsight, I'm like, all you have to do is just show up and do the shit. If you got it, you get it, you get it, you don't, you don't. Yeah. Crazy. You just have to just do the best you can. You know, nothing means anything. Seeing as how it's Gilbert's birthday, um, <laughs> who do you think out of the three of us knows him best? You. You think so? I think then George and then me. I, don't know, I would put it. I don't know anything I think about George. I, I would let. I would let. Uh, let's do some trivia. Does anybody? You, have I'll, any, I'll, I'll you ask some questions ask about you, questions. and then let's see if we can answer. Your buzzer it. has to go. You just have to go. Bup. Okay. okay. All right. So, my birthday full date. Mm. Think about it, guys. Cool. Did uh, yep nope no nope. Clava what what is it Clava? Um, it is August um, twenty seven, mm -hmm. nineteen ninety. Very close. Fuck. August twenty twentieth. What does it say? 
Yeah, wrong. August, August hey, 27th. Wrong. Already wrong. He just, today 27th. was his birthday. August 27th. <laughs> yeah. Right? What year? 1999. 99? Bro. I'll... You think he's Juliana's age? Oh, yeah. I mean, two... <laughs> Oh, sorry. 1989. I feel like Gilbert, I, George already looked this up. I'll say this. You got the year and the date wrong. Bobby got the year correct, the date wrong. Wait, I got the wait. You were born today's in the 28th. Oh, the day's the 28th. Oh. Fuck. August 28th, 1990. Different question. We all failed. All right, next one. Uh, I thought today was the 27th is why. Uh, I would say a majority of my life, what was I probably the most insecure about? Okay. Yep, That's I know it. Specific. Beep, beep. beep. My nipple. My nipple. <laughs> your nipple. That's your answer. No, that's your answer. No, 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 no. And, no, no. and guess what? That's your, not your nipples. And your nipples. That's your, that, no, that's your answer. What you? was the question again? Let's say, like 70% of my life, what have I been most insecure about? Your weight. Okay. Bingo. One zero. One not two. your nipples? That's part. It's it, Nipples, if they weren't flapping out like my belly, my body. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Bro, being cold. One zero. Literally living in Georgia, riding your bike, and then black and white kids when you drive by go hey funky or fat chinky buddha every day yeah <laughs> fat chinky buddha That'll is like something <laughs> yeah your face is the one that said that to me buddha's fat yeah. But that exactly. a, yeah but you know he lived on one grain of rice a day for a long time siddhartha you know the overalls i just bought yeah Shit i've worn them. them and the and i was wearing a yellow t-shirt yeah with the overalls it's the last time I do that combination. What happened? What people say? Even in the streets, people go, Minion, Minion. Oh. They call me a minion. <laughs> yeah, why 10, did you do that times, combination? <laughs> 10,000 oh. times. And I just, I, I couldn't wait to get home. When to you that. put it on, where you're like, I've seen this somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I did. And like, I thought, this is, oh, this is cute. It's cute. But then I it, it couldn't make the connection. <laughs> but e every comic, Minion, and people are laughing. I was like, I can't. I, then I remember looking at my car to see if I had pants. Were you wearing your glasses? No. Oh, oh you God. should have. I was wearing one of those welder glasses. <laughs> <laughs> that day, Bobby wore his welder glasses. Yeah, for, yes, welder glasses. Yeah. Um, Get, oh, so well, happy, I lost that game. You happy did lose that. that. Yeah. Um, happy birthday. What, so what, uh, how old are you now? 33. That's amazing. And he's getting married. Getting married in December. Well, I'll be in Hawaii, hopefully. That's yeah. amazing. You might be shooting there, right? In December? Yeah. It'll be great. <laughs> On Hopeful Advice <laughs> with Bobby and yeah. Kalila. Hey, guys. I'm 45 years old. I haven't met my true love yet, and I blame it on my daddy issues. I have a narcissistic sex addict, recovering alcoholic, and coke addict father. Since I was 10 years old, he's been sober of coke and booze. He's had a new family for the past 20 years. He moved to the Key West, and I live in California. There is so much more to this whole story, you would be overwhelmed. So last month, I found out... Uh, this fool has stage three HIV. He is still lying to his family saying he got pricked by a needle. Is it wrong that I want to call him out? Tell everyone about the times he would leave me and my sister outside a strip club or go behind the curtain in a video store. I know this is a lot. I probably should call a therapist, but you guys are basically my therapist. Yeah. So dude, you asking, better process yeah. that stuff. Let go of your dad, right? Process your past. You know what I mean? Deal with, you know what I mean? that's the inside stuff because it's like you can't control the outside there's nothing you're gonna say you know what i mean that's gonna make you feel better there's nothing you can do that's gonna make you feel better you have to just kind of it's an inside job you got to go to therapy work it out let him go and then move on right babe also she you're, call not, him out? you're not the only one that knows he's a narcissist i can promise you his partner of 20 years and his entire new family know this fact about him like narcissism is like, but they kind of just live with it, cope, make their decisions to stay based on whatever's happening in their life. But it's like, like Bobby said, like you're not going to, a narcissist, a true narcissist has no form of self-awareness. You cannot shame them into submission. You cannot shame them into awareness. There's no route out except to remove yourself, completely extract yourself from it. As long as you play with that fire, it's like, you know, mm. play stupid games, win stupid prizes. I think continuing to partake in a narcissist's life will win you those stupid prizes because you already know what he is. Mm. That's not going to change. So it's like, move on, separate yourself. You're not, what game are you winning? What prize are you winning by outing him? Those people in his life already know what he is as well in the same way you do. So it's like, just move on. Yep. And get therapy, like Bobby said. Yeah. So um, I guess we'll try to watch sh the Game of Thrones, I guess. 
Yeah, we should all do Are it. Are we doing it as a family? Let's do it tonight, maybe. We'll watch it. Wait, how, so how many you... episodes should we watch? I'm going to start at two then. Three? Uh, there's still, there's two out, right? So we'll watch all yeah, two. two. No. Third one is coming out tonight. No, the second's tonight. Second tonight. Oh, the second is tonight? Yeah. So there was a week in between? No, the first one was last week. Yeah. Oh my God, I've lost my freaking Maverick's mind. out. You haven't seen that yet? No, because I was supposed to go watch it this weekend and I ended up diving too late. You're never going to watch it in the theater. Wait, you can see it on video on demand. On, yeah, I, I, I saw it. I saw yeah. it for sale, but I thought it was for sale to like watch in a month. No, but and I was so oh, mad. I almost like spent twenty bucks on it. Wait, wait, let me see. Let me, you might be. You might be right. You might be right. Hold yeah. on. But if it's in theaters, watch it in theaters. For no, me. I know I will. Okay. I think I might stay in theaters for a while. And then get a good sound with it. Like go to Dolby or something. It says buy. Yeah, but you can buy it to watch in a month. It's a pre-order. Oh, it's pre-order. It, no, it doesn't. Look, screwed. look, look. Just come look. This is riveting, George. I think he's. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. I almost did that, and then it'll say you can't watch it for a month. It doesn't say that on that. Yeah, but it's already out on like airplanes, on planes, and hotel rooms. Yeah, but you have to buy it in a hotel room. I I just bought it. Let me see if I can watch it here right now. I want to kill you. It says download. What? So download. (laughs) He's gonna kill you. How about I just give you twenty bucks for it? All right, so I'm downloading it right, and then I'm gonna play it. Download it now. You don't want to watch it in theaters? I'm gonna I watch it. I would if I could get get away. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's right. I was trying to get my kid into minions today, but uh, he just loves Moana too much. Mm-hmm. You know what's Good funny? Choice. Did you tell that yet here? No. Anytime uh, George's kid sees a brown girl, he just points and goes, Moana, Moana, Moana. Moana. Mexican, Filipino. <laughs> really? Just yeah. points. He has not called me Moana yet, so. Well, like little girls. Like we're at a Mexican restaurant, and there's oh. a little Mexican. At least it's gotta be a little girl, and he'd go, Moana, Moana. And I'm like, wonder, like, canceled i hope it's a can uh, like a compliment and two yeah. i'm not sure if they understand what's happening can- we got to cancel george's baby but he, lo- he loves that movie he won't stop watching. sign the petition he oh. wakes up in the morning yelling moana moana guys we'll close on that don't don't sing the song don't sing the song Water Clyde will cry so. waterworks will ensue we love you and, uh, say bye babe bye everybody bye guys moana. Moana.